Hello, everybody, and welcome to We Got This with Mark and Hal and Greg and Kim, our second ever guests. We were so excited to have them, and they did a great job. It is a hilarious madcap episode. Um, try to follow along. I dare you. There's no way you'll be able to do the whole thing. Challenge accepted. Let's find out as you listen to episode 13 of We Got This with Mark and Hal. Hello, I'm Hal Lublin. And I'm Mark Gagliardi. Since the dawn of humanity, one issue has gone unsettled. With the fate of the world in the balance, we're here to settle once and for all. Too hot or too cold? That's right. Don't worry, everyone. We got this. Podcasts should have a theme song. Podcasts should not have a theme song. Yes, they should. No, they shouldn't. They sound good. Yeah, but people are just going to skip past it. Hmm. You know what? You're right. We got this. Hello, everybody, and welcome to We Got This with Mark and Hal. I'm the Hal of Mark and Hal. And I'm the Mark of Mark and Hal. Liar. Wow, we're going to start off just like this today, Hal. Sorry. We're so adversarial all of a sudden. I know. Even though we agree on everything on this show, it seems. You know what? The Thrilly Adventure Hour just ended last night. So it we're did. both emotional. So we're both very sad about that. And it's a tough day for us. So I'm sorry you guys have to see us like this. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Like I'm in the middle of something important. I feel like we're about to be in the middle of something um, because this could turn into a spousal uh, argument. Yes. Because for the first time, we have uh, – this is our second show with guests and our first show ever with a married couple as our guests. So yes. hopefully – in our in our solving this, in our we got thisness of it, uh, that we don't create a uh, a terrible rift in your marriage, or hopefully we do, because our guests are Greg Benson and Kim Evie. <laughs> what? Why you? Hopefully you do. I just uh, <laughs> I generally like conflict, and if I'm unhappy, it only makes me happy when other people are unhappy, and I'm just generally a miserable person. Got I don't, it. I don't believe that. See how deep we are right now? You, oh, I'm you, so no, you mad. See- Oh, right you seem delightful, you and you're you're a sweet little teddy bear. Well, you you're know. tiny. You're tiny, tiny little <laughs> okay, man. Okay, you're right. <laughs> I don't Put want you, you guys to get in trouble. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk today about whether it's better to be too hot or too cold. That is an amazing topic. That I just want to say, topic. people have strong <laughs> feelings you. about it. Maybe it's... we should maybe we should talk instead about like. Is this an amazing topic or not? Maybe that's, that's, go, that's going topic. to be our topic for the That's going to be our micro topic <laughs> at the beginning. Uh, on the count of three, let's all say whether or not we think this is an amazing topic. Okay. One, two, three. Yes. yes. Oh, see. I knew that was going to happen again. We, we snuck a penis in there. Oh, no. Oh, Folks, are you, there are you, a lot of Easter eggs hidden within every episode. <laughs> can you find the penis in episode three? <laughs> Bet you can. It looks like an Easter egg. Let me ask yeah. you this. You said no cursing, but do you have to censor penis because it's just a body part i don't think so I, it's, it's like we're a bunch of doctors yeah 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 we're just talking we're about sitting around here being doctory yeah yeah <laughs> you know when doctors go in the break room and they're like penis 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 that's what happens <laughs> that's what doctors do that's what that's, 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 i totally did a doctor that's the, that, you nailed it it's a great doc, a tiny little teddy bear doctor man <laughs> um so uh let's uh let's let's begin with our our count off uh for too hot or too cold which do you now are we is this which do you prefer to be Yeah if you have to if you have to suffer through one or the other which you would you pref- rather You prefer to be too hot or too cold right Got yeah. it. Okay on the count of 3 1 Two. Penis. Two. I'm sorry. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Drag three. The, the count of three. We're not in a hospital. <laughs> yeah. You have this to stop. All right. I'm going to give you not the a diagnosis. Uh, are you ready, Greg? Yes, I am. Beautiful. One, two, three. Two too cold. Hot. Damn. Damn. Yeah. 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 Against the one. how this is going to thing. go. It is, it is a men versus women battle. It uh, is. Why do you prefer to be too hot over too cold? Well, first of all, because it's just horrible to be too cold and, and I'm always too cold. I don't like it. But the, the other thing about being too hot is that when you go into a cold room, you're instantly better. If you're too cold and then you go into a warm room, you're not instantly better. You're still really cold for a long time. It takes a lot. to. So get. you need the immediate gratification. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Speaking of immediate gratification. No. Oh, no? <laughs> no, oh. no, not appropriate. Again. Dr. Benson not was ready to <laughs> not expound. remotely the place to talk about okay. this. Okay. Well, you're you're on the flip side of this marriage yeah. and this this argument. I'm not on the flip side of this marriage. You are I mean, totally you are on the flip against side of this, this marriage. Yeah. No, no, no. From the I'm, beginning, no, you have right stood here. against this marriage on I'm the outside. I'm for this marriage. <laughs> I'm totally for this marriage. <laughs> okay. All right. 
I tried. I tried, everybody. I'm Let, sorry. I'll tell you what. Kim, on the count of three, four against this marriage. One, two, three. Four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Hal has spoken. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's the same thing. For the marriage, penis. It's the same thing. That's honestly. true. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. those of you who are married will understand. <laughs> but you would rather be too cold. Oh, absolutely. I'd rather be that? too cold. Because when you're too hot, that's just, you're hot. That's hot. <laughs> So it's good? harder for you to cool down. No, I like I listen. Here's the thing: if you are too cold, then it's I find I find that mildly uncomfortable, and all you have to do is just put on more layers. Mm-hmm. But if you're too hot, especially if you're in a public place, you can't just strip off everything. It's much easier when you're cold to just put on but, layers. But, but, but I don't think that that's the I don't think that's what we're debating here. I don't think we're debating whether or not you can like easily. Just put on more layers. I think it's like if your state of being. This oh, is where, this is where I'm everything. going. Okay, <laughs> so this is where I'm thinking. I'm thinking mm-hmm. that it's like if you had to choose one, and forever yeah. you had to be too hot or too cold. Which one would you choose? This sounds way more yeah. permanent oh and gosh. Machiavellian this is, this than we expected terrible. this episode to be. <laughs> so basically, you, you've been condemned to hell, and hell yeah. to be very cold or very hot. Right. And, you're, and so, so in your mind, you are wearing the same amount of clothing. It does not way. matter. It's just, are you too hot or are you too cold? Yeah, oh, it's, not, it's I, not really about... I would agree with you, Greg, that, that there there's only so many layers you can take off, but you can add an infinite number of layers. I don't know about I infinite. I don't know if you can add an infinite I, We're going to test this theory right now. <laughs> Look at that man over there. He's wearing an infinite number of layers of clothing. Well, you could be like Joey in that episode of Friends where he puts on Chandler's entire wardrobe and walks in like the Michelin man. Yeah. Doing lunges. <laughs> that's amazing. Like That's, that's a, a way to combat being cold. And I bet he was yeah. perfectly comfortable in his temperature in that. Yeah. Now, here, here's what's funny. We have a married couple here. If my wife wife were here we also would have been on on opposite sides she would have said argument. too cold she is too forever hot. she is forever um she's forever cold and in the evenings if it is if it is hot out it could be 80 degrees out and we will get in the car to go home and she will turn the heat on full blast and i will start mm. sweating and i'm like can i crack the window a little bit will that get me cool enough can i slowly turn it down when she's not looking so it's like this battle for climate control we win. It really never wins. sounds like you have some terrible marital problems. It's a really big problem. Just go home and say penis a lot. <laughs> I just need to be heard. <laughs> See, it's that's the thing. Okay. I'm not allowed to regulate the temperature. I I think we've just established in our marriage <laughs> like there are certain things that I'm just SOL with, and temperature regulation is my problem. Really? <laughs> yes, I think that this is true, and it is, and it is because when you are a person who is always too cold, mm-hmm. you can put on more layers. You can throw on an extra blanket, you you know, but he, he can't take off his skin. Now, is that so. why? Is that why you led with the? I'm going to assume that we're not allowed to add any layers because that is the best argument for yes. too cold being. The- <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. It is yeah. the best. Although I'm, I'm guess- going to cripple your argument by taking away <laughs> the absolute best yes. reasoning. You're not allowed yeah. to change the clothing, but you're allowed to change the. Uh, I, I guess. So basically, clothing. what my wife is saying gonna... is that walking into a cool room feels great. It does. That's, that's yeah. what I've heard. Yeah. She would prefer yeah. to be too cold. You no. know what I love? <laughs> <laughs> I, love the, uh, I love the blasters that you get sometimes. Uh, if in like a hot area, if they like Arizona, they do it a lot because they have great air conditioning in Arizona, and they will have this like refrigerator just blasting air on you when you walk into whatever establishment it is. Sure. And boy, am I a fan of those. Yeah. yeah. Texas, same thing. Yeah, yeah, Palm Springs, too. Yeah, I guess the hotter the yeah. area, the better the air conditioning. Mm-hmm. They'll People also do that outside. thing where you can get watered walking by or walking into mm-hmm. like an outdoor restaurant. They have the, they're misting constantly. A lot of theme parks do that as well when it's, when it's hot out. Well, they sell the so portable version. It feels like the solutions for being too hot are, are more enjoyable. <laughs> Although, I, ice cream. Everybody, can we, yeah, ice cream, have we all done the thing where, where we stand in front of a low air conditioner and put our shirt over it? Absolutely. So we oh, have yeah. our own ventilation system? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's heaven. Yeah, yeah. Well, part of Is that, that t- literally heaven? That is what heaven is like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of people yeah, standing around and everyone has their own air conditioner yeah. or do you have to share? Heaven is Individual a bunch of air yeah, conditioners. It's a bunch of animated dogs in front of each of their own. <laughs> No, you share an air conditioner, but you're sharing it with your high school crush. Oh, well, that's, that's where you're sharing your air conditioner nice. with. Wow. And they like you back this time. Oh. Did, was that the only one who had a bad high school experience? No, oh, no. Like, this is an onion you're, of sadness. We're just feeling it. Really <laughs> is. You are the only one who's had a bad high school experience. Ever. Oh, yeah. thank yeah. goodness. Yeah. I'm happy for all of you. <laughs> I'd like to make another argument in favor of, um, of being too cold being better than being too hot. Hmm. If I'm too cold... It does not ruin my clothing for the day. 
Oh uh, yeah, because that's a good point. if I am too hot, then I will soak through a shirt. Forget whatever function I'm headed to. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to change. I've had to stop into an H and M before because I've gotten off the subway in New York in the middle of the summertime, and the shirt I was wearing to whatever I was going to is now drenched and an olfactory nightmare for those around me. Yeah. This podcast is brought to you by H and M. <laughs> do you carry a backup shirt? Because you're a sweatier guy. I'm, a, I, I'm Italian. I sweat a lot. Yeah, we do that. It's racist. It's pretty uh, racist. Yeah, but it's against my people, so I'm allowed to say it. Fair enough. Um, I yes. do frequently carry a... I will carry a... Uh, in the summertime in New York City, which is where I live now, it is very warm in the subways. Not on the cars, but in the stations. And I will carry a t-shirt. I'll go into a bathroom, put on my subway shirt... Uh, this is the shirt that I'm allowed to get, like, sweaty and gross, and then I'll get off the subway and I'll put on whatever clothes I was going to wear to the thing I was going to. Does it make you feel like a superhero? A little bit, but only if I do it in a phone booth. <laughs> or a revolving door that I can then make spin really, really fast. I was going to say, I don't think there are phone booths anymore. No. Yeah, not really. Yeah. There's nostalgic sort of phone booths in, like, the Jekyll and Hyde restaurant, and if you open it up, a ghost pops out. Or <laughs> That's like in Magic Castle, yeah. if you've been to the Magic Castle. Yeah. Can we address the whole... Uh, like there are there are certain issues like too hot too cold that I think fall in you fall into two camps if you are a man or a woman you know, like it's, it, it, it does feel that way yeah, yeah I think that most yeah. women are going to prefer to be too warm and most men are going to be just like I think the cake versus pie thing is a man and woman oh thing. we're gonna go there. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Because I think that if we were to choose... This sounds like versus- a fight you two have had before. <laughs> <laughs> we are, yeah. Every day we, fu- we fight we about that. Because we're fighters. Yeah. We fight <laughs> literally. Yeah, we wake we up never, fighting. We never and do. We, <laughs> we, just, we just don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we, we don't do. fight. Yes, See, we do. See, we did You guys, on the, the count of three, we started. do they fight? Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Penis. Penis. Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Is <laughs> Is it at all geographic? Where where were each of you uh raised? Wait, Dubai. wait, the the pie <laughs> is no, pie not where did you want to be raised? Oh. <laughs> no, uh, being too hot or too cold. Oh, see, I this like- is I was going to raise this because uh, this is a race thing because mm-hmm. I'm Korean mm-hmm. and I'm adopted and so I don't hang out with Korean people and I never have but uh, I went to a woman's office in LA a few years ago and she was Korean and I walked in and it was like 90 degrees in her (laughs) office and she was so apologetic it was this tiny little office and she said I'm so sorry it's just ridiculous and I was like I love this this is the only place in Los Angeles I can take my jacket off right now except everywhere outdoors all the time no it was it was actually like in a cool winter month a cool-ish winter month Oh, he's waving at his... <laughs> we're all... We're oh, waving yeah, this at, is uh, we're waving at the Periscope people. right now. So um, you can go to uh, Mediocre Films Periscope, and you can see this episode well, after you listen to it. Only if you put this up in the next 24 hours, because that's how long Periscope keeps videos. I have terrible news for you if you're on Periscope. <laughs> you are never going to see <laughs> You'll this. You'll never see this. This never, is a lost never. episode. Oh, there are some people watching yeah. right now. And we're going to wave. We're waving them. to them, which is great for all of you listening at home. Can, if you're in your car, we're waving to someone else. I know this would be a whole other episode. Can mm-hmm. we just do cake versus pie? I want to hear you two yeah. do cake versus pie. All, the, all, all well, of us. Let's all, all three. four of yeah. us, but, cake but with, with, without, with no penises. <laughs> Careful it. Okay. There's no penises in the cake or the pie. That's, okay. That right? sounds more appetizing. Right. So, <laughs> that's, I prefer my cake or pie without penises. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. You count. One, two, three. Pie. Cake. Oh my god! <laughs> were, we all, were we all three pie in yes, your cake? Yeah, and this is exactly what mind. I was saying. It's a it's a men versus women thing. Men prefer pie, women prefer cake. Not that cake is bad. No, cake's right. delicious, but there's more variety. There's more you can do with pie. There are more oh, options with pie. Wow, I never yeah. thought of it that way. Yeah, I've never. I mean, cake. It's pretty much you know chocolate, vanilla, white, lemon. Uh, Oh, I like a lemon cake. I do love a lemon cake. And a red velvet mm. cake. Red Ooh, velvet red cake. Velvet. And, and listen, cake frosting is a wonderful thing. Yeah. But that's, who's, who's to say you can't have pie with frosting? True. <laughs> <laughs> this is America. We're all free to do what we want. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? Uh, Why not, don't they make non pothead society? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they make pie with frosting? I mean, why don't you just get an oh, apple pie and put some yeah. frosting on there? If you get a Hostess mini apple pie, it will have it will have an icing on it. An icing is a different different thing. It's listen, I like that. I like listen, that. Listen, no, no, the mini pies. Those are not. Those are barely pie. That is. That's like a sweet calzone. That's like a, a sweet 7-Eleven calzone. This is the Italian. Yeah. yeah. Sweet calzone. Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> like a favorite expletive. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> but the calories are good when you're cold. They say um, when you're cold, if you eat a hot fudge sundae full of ice cream, it will actually warm you up more than a hot chocolate because of the calories. Who said that? Because you're burning calories. What? Uncle John's bathroom reader, not to give a plug. Wow. Those things know everything. All right. This wow. was brought to you by H&M. <laughs> <laughs> um, but here's the thing. Like, I, I usually... I went to college in a very cold place. I went to Syracuse, New York, mm-hmm. where it snowed all the time. And at first, I really was into it. Like, I enjoyed being cold. And, where were you from? Bundle up. From Philadelphia, which okay. is temperate. But in Syracuse, it starts snowing in September, and it doesn't stop until May. So that first freshman year, it was really fun, and I enjoyed walking around in the snow. But towards the end of, the, of that set of months, all I wanted was to be out of it. I was tired of being cold all the time because... That kind of cold. There's a there's a level of cold where it's where it becomes completely unacceptable. Your teeth hurt. You're it it sort of burning your face. Uh, oh, I, it's I, like I, opening the Ark of the Covenant. Let, let me ask you something now. <laughs> Um, are you going to cut that whole part out of the podcast? <laughs> no, it's, it's in. it is in. We have to discuss all sides of this debate. It's, it was, there, it was a long time to go without any laughing. That's all I know. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> oh. There, there is. I will point out another upside to um, to being too hot over being too cold. I'm still in the. I prefer to be too cold camp, but I find. In the months when I am too hot more often, I look a heck of a lot better than the months when I am too cold too often because I spend all winter eating and I spend all summer outdoors. Well, that's, uh, that's is that true anyone for a lot else? Of does anyone else find that to be the case? Yeah, and also you got the holidays in the cold months. You know, that's mm-hmm. that's when you you got your you got your what's they call the Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's yeah, what, that's what yeah. Americans that's, that's celebrate, one of them. Uh-huh. and Americans celebrate that. What is that? The Christmas? Yeah, we, we actually—I don't think we ever Christ- got the correct yeah. answer. Where were you raised? <laughs> Dubai. <laughs> you did say Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Born and raised in Dubai. <laughs> um, I was a Dubai by baby. They called me. I don't know why. You know. Hold every, on, let me just hit stop recording. I was going to say <laughs> that, <laughs> that was going to get cut out. Right <laughs> out. <laughs> um, no, where you were. Are you from California? I'm from Texas, actually. Tex- oh, Texas. Where it was nice and hot. Yeah. And, and who wants to be outside in 116 degrees in the summertime with all the humidity? It's no fun. Right. And you instantly, your clothes are soaked. Oh, yeah. And you just want to walk into one of those stores that has that sheet of cold air coming oh, down as soon best. as you walk through the door. Yeah. yeah. And turn your back to it because invariably, if you put on a suit to go to a job interview, you will get that one bead of sweat that starts at your oh, neck and no. goes down the middle of your back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so wait, you're supposed to put on a suit to go to a job interview? Well, if at an Arby's, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to a classy place. I've never yeah. gone, uh, I've never applied for a job at an Arby's. Oh, it's fantastic. Do they give you free supers? You, they the give Arby's you free, uh, they give you free packets of, uh, horsey sauce. I think they give you those anyway. You just walk, anyone can walk in and get those. Why have I been going to all of these job interviews at Arby's? I don't even want or need the job. So I just want the horsey sauce. You do the interview and then you get the horsey sauce. Yeah. So that's, no, you don't have to do it's that. It's the bonus at the end. You just walk in and ask for horsey sauce. Oh, man. The world's worst con artist. I have been. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and do a job interview for 90 minutes and then I'm going to walk out with two packets of horsey sauce. Of course, I'm going to have to buy a roast beef sandwich to have something to put the horsey sauce on. Don't they, don't they have a sandwich at Arby's where it's like a, a handful of beef. Like that's what <laughs> that's, they say. That's like what's called every sandwich. every single one. Every sandwich. Yeah, it's Isn't like it? I, I thought there was something where like we lump two handfuls of beef. <laughs> Is on, this Guy Fieri's Arby's? <laughs> yeah, that's another Guy Fieri's Arby. We cover the whole thing in powdered sugar, <laughs> vinegar, <laughs> and then we force you to eat it while you watch Fellini movies. <laughs> wow, that's very specific. <laughs> odd that, odd that uh, Guy Fieri is a big Fellini movie fan. <laughs> sure. I think he'd be, he'd be more of a uh, McG fan. Just Charlie's <laughs> Angel movies. <all> the time. <laughs> I wish that wasn't a sandwich. I would wish that was just what you got. Handful of beef. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, that's yeah, just, a handful of. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't. And they, they put it. It's special. from their hand to uh-huh. yours. <laughs> Feel like yep. you're in the no dust bag. bowl getting a meal. <laughs> local center. Here's your handful of beef. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> this will feed your family for a month. Thank you, sir. Uh, May I have some more? More. <laughs> sure. There you go. Yeah. This is way to way of off topic, but on the topic we're on, I I love Arby's. I am. I love it too. Do you? I'm a big fan. Yeah. I do too. Me I love too. Arby's. Okay, I secretly good. love yeah. Arby's. Yeah. Can, I, can I just say I like Arby's, but I wouldn't I wouldn't put them in the love category. 
Who would is there a fast food category? you would put in the love category? Well, do you count five guys as fast food? Yes. Yes. Five yes. guys, burgers and fries. They're they, they win for my favorite hamburger. And and fries for that matter. Those Cajun style fries, crazy good. Yeah. As good as Arby's curly fries? Oh, come on. I'm just saying. Where are we going? Oh. oh, we're gonna go to Five Guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you guys, are you guys all getting hungry right now? Is that yeah. what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about being hot and cold again. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Um, <laughs> she's a stern taskmistress. So it's good. We we need I to am. stand yes. up. We yeah. need to settle this. People want to know. This was this was actually uh, submitted to us. Uh, somebody actually did ask this question. Ray Davies of the Kinks yes. submitted this question. <laughs> was, Thank you, Ray. It was Sarah Pocock. Oh, hi, Sarah. She's a friend of ours uh, yes. who we met through the Philly Adventure. And a fantastic uh, artist and animator. Yeah, great kisser. Hi, Sarah. She wanted to know. Well, no. no, 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 no she Don't is. put it on the podcast. Okay. Kisser. I'm right great. here. Well, no, you're pretty good, too, but oh, you're no oh, Sarah. Thanks. Sarah we got them. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we got them. <laughs> we got them. <laughs> that's another episode. Who is the better kisser, yeah. Kim or Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> So, I, yes. Go ahead. Uh, no, no, go ahead. Wait, if, Both of I, no, wait, see, wait, 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 <laughs> sorry, we talk about kissing and I get all flustered. So, is it tough for you to go places? Like, do you like to ski? Anything mm, like that? No. Go to the mountains at all? No. <laughs> I'm not an outdoorsy you, person okay. at all. I'm a Sagittarius, so I'm supposed to love the outdoors and I hate it because it's always cold or I'm getting bitten by bugs. That's, those yes. are the two extremes for me. Mosquitoes love her. You're yeah. going to the wrong places if those are your only two. Are you going to visit his family in Texas? Is that what it's, cause the bugs in Texas are enormous. Yeah. They are, but there's not really a big mosquito problem in Texas that I've noticed, but. Not so much. No. Anyway, what was the question? Well, the thing is, <laughs> I was just wondering if you're in those situations. There's so many, there are a lot of different, like, apparatus to help you combat cold. There are those, like, heat packs where you shake them and then you hold them in your hands and mm-hmm. they heat you up or, uh, you know, like those special Cobra Commander masks that you wear over your face to keep your face warm. Yeah, you make a good point because when I was a kid, I lived in Albuquerque and I was not a skier and mm-hmm. I went skiing um, for the first time in high school and I didn't have any ski stuff. So I went skiing like in jeans and a shirt and by the end of it, I was soaked because I was my first time and I was freezing. So yeah, that's probably where it all started. So you prefer so to be trauma. too warm because you're terrible at preparation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we're going that to Alaska, so point. I'm just going to bring a one-piece bathing suit <laughs> and a sun hat. Because I want to be protected. No shoes. I want to feel the nature under my feet. Oh, oh, before I forget. And sunscreen. <laughs> Bronzer on your nose. Uh, like, now, we, we can't end these episodes until we have definitively made an answer. So I feel like at this point it's just the three males at the table trying to convince you <laughs> that... Uh, that being too cold is better. So we're gonna we're gonna bombard you with everything we can and have been for a while now. Okay. I, I hope you don't mind that. Okay. Yeah. So when you're too hot, uh not only do you do you get sweaty, but you get tired and and listless. It's just it's even the act of being uh cooled down is difficult. Whereas and and if we've all performed on stage, we've all improvised in the theaters. There's nothing better than the feeling of the theater being really cold. And knowing when you step out under the lights, it's going to be warm. Whereas those times where where the air conditioning is broken, it is a nightmare. And you walk into a hot box that gets hotter. Mm. And then you move around and you want to die. Also, a cold audience laughs, whereas a hot audience will not laugh. No, nope, it's, it's the other. Yes, yes, exactly. A if the sweaty, audience is cold, they will they will laugh. Yeah. And that's why if you ever go see a, like a David Letterman taping, he keeps his studio really, really cold. Yeah, a lot of the, and, and multi-camera sitcoms, they're freezing. They all do. Yeah, they're I didn't freezing. I thought that was about it's the laughs. It's, it's I thought terrible. It was, it I is. thought it was about the, uh, the lights being, to balance out the lights. Well, that's that too, but they want to keep the audience alert and they want to keep them laughing. Yeah. Cause the heat makes you, makes you sleepy, right? Do you yeah, agree? Yeah. But that's so nice. You get all warm and sleepy. You want to be sleepy if you're sitting in the audience then... of a comedy show? <laughs> no. Okay. You guys, we're going to go see Greg Benson. <laughs> I brought my pillow and blankets. <laughs> <laughs> and I have my sun hat and one piece bathing suit. I'm completely ready for this. Oh, you're as good as Kim is at, uh, preparedness. Yes. It's like I'm going to Alaska all the time. So <laughs> what I'm hearing now is that Kim agrees with us and has come over to our side now and she, yeah. she believes what? now that the, that sounds great. Wait, is that what happened? How did that happen? Right, well, I don't understand. That's terrific. It sounds like we got this. I don't okay. think yeah. that's true. All right. True. Well, that's fantastic. This Penis. is great. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> we concede for the purposes of this episode that it that it is better 
to be too cold than be too warm. I think if you bring Kayla Kagan up here and one of you leaves, then we are at a, a, a complete, a, a complete impasse. impasse. We are not bringing in substitutes <laughs> yet. This is way too early in our guest having process. All right, I'm just saying if this was if this was equal men and women, then this would not be settled this way. Okay, we'll figure out another way to settle it. The three of us are going to arm wrestle you all at the same time. Oh, <laughs> Ready, go. We all lost. That was and a terrible idea. So, you know what? She's that. surprisingly yeah. strong. Yeah, it's amazing. So, we have yeah. settled this. It is better to be too hot. Wow. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Who knew all that right, that's well, how it ends? Let's crank up the heat and put on some layers. All right. Yeah. All right, let's, let's just go around real quick. But final answer. Too hot, too cold. Too cold. Too cold. Too hot. It's too cold. What we're going to have to do is go by majority rules and say three to one. But let me say something right now to all of the ladies out there who who are probably really hot. mad right now. I, I say to you, sisters are doing it for themselves. So you can create a warm environment anywhere you go. And you can do it with heat packets and Cobra Commander masks and layers, ski jackets, blankets, boots, Uggs, socks. Uh, electric blankets, electric heaters. Okay, Bubba Gump. Dr. I think we got the it. electric band. <laughs> Can I also just say that girls just want to have fun? They do. They do. They just want to. Yeah. They, they just, just want to. Girls. Um, and I would like to say thank you to our guests. Yes. For joining us. And um, is there anything that you would like to uh, let the world know about? Yes, to plug? Please. Oh, I wouldn't want to plug anything besides my YouTube channel, Mediocre Films, the finest home for hilarious prank videos. <laughs> I just want to say shop at H&M. It's great. <laughs> shop at H&M. If you haven't seen uh, Mediocre Films and you're not familiar with uh, Greg's work, and Kim, you are, you are part of this channel as well. I help. Yeah. She uh, helps a lot. It is a hilarious uh, uh, prank channel, and you have two of them. You have two well, channels. I have. I also, if you put the number two at the end of Mediocre Films, yeah. and you'll find a more personal channel where I put up vlogs and smaller videos and all sorts of things, but, and travel videos yeah. and, um, naked, uh, what? Yeah. No, just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming you, not for Periscope, just for myself. Oh, oh you're filming me with your eyes. Yeah. If you've it's ever, so creepy. if you have a Facebook account, you no doubt have seen, uh, cell, uh, the cell phone crashing videos. And then the shopping, uh, shopping pranks, shopping pranks. Sure, thanks. Uh, those are Greg and a number of collaborators he brings in, and they are hilarious. Thank you, Hal. So you should check it out. And Hal, you appear in one of my videos that we shot at Comic Con. <laughs> I do. Year. You were walking around as, as Yeshman Blechen. Yes. And thank I, you for getting his name right. No one ever gets the character's name right. <laughs> oh, of course. So thank you. I'm so a you fan. said Yasmin Blechen? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, I love when you play Yasmin Bleeth. It's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> right. It's so great. Uh, but please uh, check that channel out. Um, and, uh, on Twitter, how do we find you guys? Uh, I'm at Kim Eby, and Eby at, E-Y. And at Mediocre Films. And I am at Hal Lublin. And I am at Mark Gags. And our show is at We Got This Tweets. Uh, and also if you'd like to find us on, uh, Facebook, we are. Uh, we Got This Podcast. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for listening. And, uh, until next time, don't worry, everyone. We, we got, got this. this. I love you. Penis. Penis. We got this. <laughs> <laughs>